everybody. Just want to make sure everybody can see us clearly. <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. My name is Kendrick, and welcome. Thank you for coming out and supporting everybody here today. So in front of you guys, the, we are some poets here for the Fumi Project, and we just wanted to read some poems out to you guys. And just for time management, make sure you save all your applause at the end of the reading. Please and thank you. Ready? All right. A little side note, I am nervous, so like, forgive me, please. All righty. Future self, future space. Is the future what I want to look towards? No. No, no, no. No, because I can't look towards what is ahead because I truly fear what I might shed. All those great memories, all those good parts of me, no. I don't want them to go because what if down the road I pick up some horrible tendencies? What if down the road the future is looking out of my control? So control is what I must hold on to because without it, I'm lost, I am unstable, and I'm without the surface. And I let people down. So with control, it's what I must hold on to, to be better. As right, so I spiral down this rabbit hole, I try not to fall short so I can work towards a great and future self, a future space. Do I need to create space for myself so I can pace? What I thought I thought I never thought I might have. So, so, so funny. Now sitting in silence, going over the now, wanting to fix the things that are wrong. I thought, I, I consulted those who tried to help and guided me to see what is right. So I could find those to, la, la, my bad. <laughs> there, I'm sorry. There's a conclusion I thought I would have no conclusion for. Just one of those brainly mind puzzles I battle with. Here I am in the future, looking back on the past self. Wow, what a ride, but the ride is never over. Right now, this is a challenge, to challenge to where I can see where I can improve, a challenge to where I'm less stiff, a challenge, a challenge to where. <laughs> Hi. This poem is called The Reasons. The future holds a large room in the way of this house. The now, the more extensive, is the words fa fastly said and regret. Maybe we're too old and too changed. The reasons, if my calmness is deranged, my life in this house had rearranged, the next one I buy might look the same. Shattered into a large hallway, we walk through again and for over, years of lasting summers. Easy to leave, easy to last, easy enough. Maybe we're ahead of our time, always born in the wrong era, because the world is young and deranged. The reasons I fear is that I'm not willing to change. Table arrangements and pockets of posies were easy to love, easy enough to leave alone, but I miss every house I ever went in. Being at home at night was too much. In the future, I won't be left to rearrange the books on the bed or with the words I said. Maybe we're too behind our time, born in the wrong era as always, because the world is too old and too changed. The reasons I fear is that I've stayed the same. The future is locked away from me. This house holds it ever so tightly. It gets more extensive now, in words fastly said in regret. My future holds I love yous. The reasons I hope is that I've learned to love back. My poem is called Dead Birds and Chain Nations. A future bleeding fast food grease in my carpet doesn't come out of the closet, but I'm caught on the frame of the window to the west sun rises because you couldn't afford sunsets on my grave as I brush away dandelions back. Don't come closer is how I feel to Jonathan Swift and English class action lawsuits are the same as test me one last time. And I might just jump onto a moving train me how to punctuate sentences but not how to tie. My shoes have holes in their feet, but I won't replace them, he will say over the clatter of sewing. Machines write poetry now, did you know that? There have only been 707 
73 school shootings since Columbine, sunflower, daffodil, poppy seeds like gravel in my socks as I walk into the supermarket to count the wrappers in my back pocket the change and tell my children I love them unconditionally depends on my health conditions and hope depends on my doctor's omissions of a word here and there you are. I've been looking for my purpose. I think I lost it with my temper when I punched that kid. The amusement parking lots are graves if only children can understand Jefferson's folly that draws me to water like one of those bugs that live in small pools of Monday morning sunshine, good night moonshine and coke make a hell of a way to start a Tuesday. We will reimagine democracy as it crumbles into your hand. Me the duct tape I want to salvage this shitstorm but I can't see outside of my house is a dead bird splattered across the street. Glass shatters at two in the morning but no funeral because no one can find where they keep the ashes or the first sign of Pompeii being buried alive and then dead on the freeway to a chained nation. There's a phantom toll booth and a watch as the streets blur into standardized tests for an unstandardized population control is painting a gun pink and calling it a rose by any other name me a monument that doesn't perpetuate a white man's burden rests on the shoulders of our children are the future the adults say because they don't want to fix it themselves because no one can fix this living hell but the future and I'm worried for her. Hi, I'm Kira, and uh, this is Soulful Creation. I am not a short story read while drifting off. I demand space. Every day I am shaped and found, given room to sprout in this little corner of the world. The future is skittish but ready, and with them you must impart your dream, enveloped in the acceptance of generations. This is Messages from a Mycorrhizal Network. This week is a Saturday night with rain in it. There is no brass. Guitar and gold and synth and silver are kings and queens of their respective domains. Everything converges. A time cover has mortal in one corner and machine in the other, and in the middle the sun still sinks weary into the memory foam sea and still purples the sky, blue or white or ash gray or unseen. Carcinization proves evolution has direction, not up but forward, not progress but still movement. The universe has in mind a terminal shape. Stretch my coarse shelled branches until they pop, force my roots deep until they are indistinguishable from yours amidst the wood and mycelia. The shape doesn't matter as long as there's only one left. Identity is formed like light, reflecting, sonar bouncing back, only here because I am blessedly not there, only I because I am accursedly not you, to hell with all that. Make every place here in name and in recreation. Make it us, make it we, de-individuate. If there's no you, no there, there's no identity. Flat sands, duneless. Time can pass, new rings can scratch themselves into trunks, but hidden behind bark bulwarks where sight is a sin. If the sun comes out, we will know, but we are not sunflowers. We will not turn to it. Um, I'm James, and this is um, Feminine Screams of a Forced Sagacity. I am six, being picked up and put down again and again rapidly so that it's more like shaking a baby, because I am relying on my mother still. I am told not to cry, to be silent and stealthy. A baby takes up too much room to set in torn fragments. I am 12. I am running a blade along my jagged edges to make my skin smooth. A baby cries on a frequency that shatters glass hearts, and now I must fit into these minuscule shards I have created for my mother. I am Cinderella's stepsister, cutting away at myself to fit into a heart that isn't mine, becoming my own karma. I have a lesson to learn so that others may be taught. I am 16, my scars long faded, my smile the only open wound, women must bleed. My heel is grown back, my tendon fresh to cut. Why build myself if not for somebody to ruin? I've grown out my hair, I don't shave my legs, I wear big jewelry and long skirts, I am loud and clumsy and unapologetic. I take up as much space as I please and I no longer live in afterthoughts. I am 20. I am the fruit of my mother's labor, grown in plastic-ridden soil, polluted rings showing how we festered. 
The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. It rolls and thinks its bruises mean it's better. After all, the brown parts are sweeter, but nobody really cares what you taste like. They won't bite into you. You are as much to their tongue as to their eyes, and you are worm-ridden and rotten, and the ground you sleep on autumn by autumn will be warmed by your leathered flesh, sucking you back down, milking you to your core, where the seeds lie a ticking bomb until you're too far grown to grow better. A new tree. New soil, old plastic, and you will grow into a beautiful tree, worms and bruises, unhealed and unloved, and you will join the graveyard of rolled fruit, you, your mother, your mother's mother, and her mother before her. You will grow branches so that the wind may whistle your rue, you will be plump with blossoms, and come the time, you will watch helplessly from your fortress of melancholy rings, as an apple falls from the tree you couldn't have become, and rolls. The fruit of your labor, your very best worm-ridden, bruised effort rolls, and you wish you could tell her how to live with her bruises, but a bruised apple has never been picked up, and the wind picks her up and puts her back down again, her flesh leather, she cuts herself on jagged edges to be smooth, and you scream the obvious, but your baby cries and your heart shatters, and her rings will be just as plastic-ridden as yours. Uh, hi, I'm Miguel. And my poem is 101. As one comes to pass, we all come and plunder. And we come to one ending thunder. As that time comes, we must entrust ourselves with the people that are younger. As they come to pour our living flame to make their own, we must lead them to our future self. As as they will taste this future space of ours and make it to a marvelous creation of self-imagination. Imagination so crazy, I could never imagine. Marvelous as always. Just as they will do to our futures. And must we all be in this future space for us to show the wonderful space, this wonderful space to them. The space of wonder and creativity in which many things happen and we all raise up in this world. The world and when and where we come and build as a unity, the future mind. And this poem is called Destination. Not destination, destination. And soon you, you'll find out why. I'm following the path to reach my destination with a fuel that runs on everlasting determination. I'm facing every obstacle with hard work and dedication. Life for me hasn't always been a vacation. In my days younger, the difficulties of dealing with a stutter, words melt in my heart as if it were a stick of butter. On the outside, I wanted to be a cool, tough brother. But on the inside, I was emotionally weak undercover. And when I was almost 10 years old, the loss of my father made the summer turn cold. Be strong, be better, is what I was told. But for a while, the pain and the pressure just made me fold. So I looked up to my stepfather, hoping he'd help lighten the load. But all that glitters is not gold. He was bold and thirsty for control, constantly had my mother in an emotional chokehold. He turned our home into mold, but it still hurt that he had to go because even after all of that, I still love him so. My life has been a game of uno. I have been dealt a few wild cards. They have left me scarred, but the scars have healed and now I'm ready to shoot past the stars by working hard and by always believing that who I am will go far. I must reach my destination not just for myself, but for the entire future generation. I must provide them inspiration with the trails I'm blazing so that their destination won't lead to their incarceration or even worse, their elimination. I must teach them self-determination so that together we will grow up as a strong united nation with peace and love spread to every location. I must reach my destination as part of my family's pedigree, it's my responsibility to carry on their legacy. And once I get there, I will enjoy the feeling of ecstasy. But I know I'll reach my destination because it's my destiny. Thank you.
All right, everybody. So at the moment, all of our ports are going to like stand in a line, and we're going to.